Stay curious, keep exploring and just enjoy. Welcome, fellow Dune enthusiasts. Today, we delve into a mystery that has puzzled many a fan of Frank Hubbard's epic saga. A world of advanced technology, interstellar travel, and psychic powers, yet conspicuously absent of computers. Why is that? Stick around till the end of the video to unravel this enigma. In the universe of Dune, we are introduced to a future where humanity has spread across the stars, yet the technology we associate with such advancement, computers, are nowhere to be found. This is not a mere oversight by Herbert, but a deliberate choice that shapes the very fabric of the Dune universe. To understand this, we must journey back to the Butlerian Jihad, a pivotal event in the Dune chronology. This was a violent, galaxy-wide uprising against thinking machines, or computers, that had enslaved humanity. The revolt was so profound that it led to a new commandment in the Orange Catholic Bible. Thou shalt not make a machine in the likeness of a human mind. This prohibition against computers forced humanity to adapt and evolve. The Mentats, human computers trained to mimic the analytical abilities of machines, emerged as a result. The Bean Gesserit, a matriarchal order, honed their mental and physical abilities to superhuman levels. The Spacing Guild Navigators, mutated by the Spice Melange, developed prescient abilities allowing them to navigate the vastness of space without the need for computers. Hubbard's decision to exclude computers from Dune was not just a plot device, but a commentary on our reliance on technology. He presents a future where humanity has not only survived but thrived without machines, a stark contrast to our current trajectory. Now, let's delve deeper into the lore. The Butlerian Jihad was not just a war against machines, but a war for the human spirit. It was a rebellion against the idea that humans could be reduced to mere numbers, processed by unfeeling machines. This theme resonates throughout the Dune series, as characters constantly struggle against forces that seek to control and dehumanize them. The absence of computers also shapes the political landscape of Dune. Without machines to do the work, power is concentrated in the hands of those who can control and manipulate others. This is evident in the feudal system that governs the universe, where noble houses vie for control of the all-important spice melange. So, there you have it. The absence of computers in Dune is not a mere oversight, but a deliberate choice that shapes the universe, its characters, and its themes. It's a testament to Herbert's genius that he could envision a future so different from our own, yet so compellingly real. Before we wrap up, I'd love to hear your thoughts. What do you think about the absence of computers in Dune? Do you think humanity could survive, or even thrive, without them? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the Dune universe, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more. We've got plenty more mysteries to unravel and secrets to uncover in the sands of Arrakis. And as we say our goodbyes, remember this quote from Dune. Deep in the human unconscious is a pervasive need for a logical universe that makes sense. But the real universe is always one step beyond logic. Just like the absence of computers in Dune, Sometimes the answers lie just beyond what we can see. Until next time, fellow travelers of the Dune universe.